going because of COVID, so there's not bright careers ahead. And what I then show is I show them this slide, which says that <clears throat> I passed out my MBA in the year 2009. One year prior to that, 2008, was the time when it was one of the best times to do your management or engineering. Right, because most right, and people used to have four five offers and they used to pass out. And that's why by reaction of yours to what happens to you. Day, I would have never stood up on the stage. If I would have never stood up on the stage, I would have never won 40 plus awards. If I would have never won that I will today. So my request to all of you is always have this you know courage to face the unknown. The courage could be to pick up a new project in college. The courage could be to go into Can possibly find out how of far second courage to face the unknown. Third, if you don't have a dream, please have a dream today. And once you have a dream, half of your problem is solved. Because the problem is look around in the auditorium. I can tell you 90% of the people do not have a dream. And then you know, they, they may tell you another fun story. Bombay, it might be any other place. It's a basic principle. Wherever you are, just follow these principles. But I'm saying in the chat, and I would love to if people... are good at and what you want to do in life and not what others expect you to do. At the end of the day, right, to be able to look back on your life with satisfaction is to live life twice. Today, at least, I don't have any regrets in my life, right? I wanted to do an MBA, I did my MBA. I wanted to be a, I wanted to really excel in corporate career. I've been into corporate career, excelled into it. I have no regrets, right? That one, should I have been gone into an M-Tech? No regrets, right? Should I have gone to a government job? No regrets, right? It's very, very clear. I have a younger brother, right? He passed out from Thapa. He was very, very clear that he only wants to do a common job. Into police services today. He doesn't want to work with. And he's as happy as I am today. Very, very different career trajectory. But because he knew what he wanted to do, he doesn't care what others tell him to do. So similarly, my request to you all, right? When you decide your dream, Decide what you really want to do and you feel you can do good in, not what anyone else tells you to do. There is no one way to success, is all I can tell you right now. Next point is uh, even important, right? We said 90s to 10, we said have the courage to face the unknown, we said important to have a dream, it's important to have a dream which you really want to do. At the same time, it's very important to learn to enjoy your journey. Right? So some of you right now, before coming into People would have loved music, right? Or somebody would have loved Bhangra, or somebody would have loved playing guitar, or somebody would have loved reading books. My request is whatever that passion is, please ensure even today you continue following those passions. Please ensure today you continue doing those things. For example, if some of you were really good in sports before coming in, please ensure, right? We have this infrastructure across colleges, right? Which is swimming, athletics, etc. Please continue pursuing that. If you love playing guitar, please ensure every day when you go back home, play guitar for an hour. Don't wait for an opportunity. Don't say, you know what, I'll all go all out for my engineering for the next four years. Really afraid. This rope this is a normal rope with which you tie up your puppy dog with. And when we talked to the manager of the circle, we told him, you know what, why are you tied up with such a small rope? You should be idly tying the original. 
So there's someone who comes up and asks me, uh, Jignur, agree, right? But is it really possible? Right? You're saying that I haven't done anything in engineering first year, I haven't done anything special, I haven't done anything extra, I haven't done anything extra, I don't know about business. You're saying that you have to see a dream and you're saying in the next 7-8 years by 2030, you will be as successful as anyone in your batch. Is it possible? And my request, my suggestion is, yes, it is, right? We are listening to each other. But where there is a will, there is a way. The problem is 99% of us do not have a will. And that's not right? Because we don't have a dream, we don't have a will, right? So the moment you have a dream, the moment you have a dream which is aligned to your strengths and what you want to do, you will figure out a way to do it. Right? The moment you there is a will of being that, you know what, I want to become, I want to go into MBA, I want to start up my own business, I want to do MTech, I want to be get into an IT job. The moment you have a dream, you will have a will. The moment you have a will, you will get a lot of ways to do that. Problem is 99% of us do not have a will. So again, it's all will right what we discussed were basic concepts right basic concepts like uh basic things like have a 90 let me just recap all of it just go back the first thing we discussed was a 90s to 10 principle which is saying that you know how it is always important to remember that irrespective of your control then we said you know, there are a lot of opportunities that will come to you. The courage to face the unknown. Only after you take that plunge, you would know that how far you could have gone. Next, we discuss that, you know, it's very, very important that do you have the new dream in your life? Do you have the next milestone in your life? Another thing I discuss is it doesn't matter what people sitting around you say. What matters is not a change in your life. Yes, then just have a dream in your life that's more important. Then we discuss, right, it's very, very important that we do what we really want to do and not what others expect us to do. Next point was that, you know, whatever you do, whatever you decide as a dream, etc., please start enjoying the journey, right? Not wait for the destination and then say, you know, once I reach my destination, I enjoy my life. It doesn't work like that. We discuss, we say, that sometimes in life, we are bound by the limitations around us. We are bound by our own beliefs. So if tomorrow you tell me that you can't do an extra correct activity because last time you did it in the third class, it's been 10 years. Please try again. And finally, we said if we have all this, right, and if still you question yourself that ignore is it possible, just go back to this saying, right, which has been there for ages. That there's a do not have a and that's a reason you don't figure out, figure out a way. So the day you decide your will, out from it. Right? Just let me just skip a few of these slides. And the principle I want you to all remember, right? And this is marketing. It's not about marketing. It's about anything that you do in your life. Always remember, it's not about talking, but it's about listening. You know, why do I take so many pauses and I say, can I have questions on that? Because honestly, I would want to do it in person in your auditorium. You are more than talking, I would really want to listen to you. I would really want to talk to a Tushar or a Harsever or a Parminder and ask them, what do you feel? What are your concerns? So my request to all of you, whatever career that you take up, right? In life, it is very important that you are a good listener and not a good talker. You know, there is a very beautiful saying with There's nobody how much you need that. I let me tell you a beautiful statement which says, nobody cares how much you know till the time they know that you care. And how does the other person gets to know that you care? Then you listen to them. So whatever jobs that you do, whatever businesses that you start out, always remember that you invest in your listening skills more than your speaking skills. There's another example, right? This is for all the engineers today. Uh, so I went to a campus a few years back, right? Which was Nirma, uh, which is an MBA college. And I was talking to young individuals and I was asking them, what do you want to do in life? 
See, till now, what did we discuss, right? We discussed that how to decide what do you really want to do in life and at least know what you want to do in life. But then the next question comes is, is just knowing enough or do I need to do something about it? I'll give a simple example. So I went to this college and I met one of the students. I asked him, what do you want to do in life? He said, you know what? I want to do digital marketing. I said, okay. I said, what are you doing about it? He says, no, no, I'm not doing anything about it right now. In my second year, I have a elective, which is digital marketing, which is a course. I will do that course. And then I know how to build a career in digital marketing. I said, okay. Half an hour later, I meet another colleague of his. I meet him. I said, what do you want to do in, what do you want to do in life? He says, you know what? I want to do digital marketing. I said, okay. I said, what do you want to do about it? He says in the... Last one year, I have done the of my the last nine unpaid internship with a marketing firm working on digital marketing. Name was Dhruv, and this name is Ketan. Whom do you copy? Let me be a listener, right? Let me wait for the chat to come in. So Harsevak tells us it's Ketan, right? It's common sense, right? The point is, how many of us are not doing this today? So even if somebody tells me that, you know what, Chignur, I want to become a great entrepreneur. And I tell, ask them, what are you doing about it? Nothing, Chignur. In the next year, college will do a session. I will attend that. Or, you know what, Jignur, I want to do, for example, I want to get into IT, Infosys. And I say, oh, do you know anything about IT? No, 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 Jignur, I don't know anything about IT. I'll get into Infosys and then I get to know. My point is, these are the people you're competing in the market who are really investing in their learning. So please ensure that, you know, we invest in our learning. And as Mr. Harsevik and Mr. Mohammed Jai said, nobody, I don't know the question, but maybe they feel nobody is going to compete, but I'm okay. Next is, uh, I don't know how many of you are on LinkedIn, right? Uh, if not, please go today and register yourself on LinkedIn. That's a new question. question and question is, please read as much as possible. If you're not reading books, you're really leaving. And second, please be on LinkedIn. That's very, very important and critical. Just give me a second. Right? See, while... Sorry. Hey, sorry, I said it's on a lighter note. Yeah, that's a problem of webinars. In person, would have clarified it better. Thanks, buddy, for clarifying. See, while, you know, you see, you hear all this, right? You heard that, you know, what is important to have a dream. Then we heard about it's important to do something about your dream. And then still, right, we feel a bit worried, right, or afraid that, you know, sitting over here looking at a career ahead, can we do it or not? My answer is sometimes you have to really just stop getting worried about all this and just go for it. Either it will work or it won't. It's okay. It's life. But at least you will do something about it. The problem is a lot of us are just thinking about it and not taking action. Think about it. More importantly, start taking actions around it, which is more important. See, lastly, if you see this slide, right, this is where you are, right? Whatever you're doing, wherever you are. And this is where you want to reach. That could be, oh, remember there was this ad, Nea Ghar, Nei Gadi, Nea Banglo, whatever it is. There are thousands of ways of reaching there. You can do an MBA, you can do an entrepreneurship, you can do an MTech, you can go to US, you can do an IT, irrespective of whatever. The only thing important is, are you committed to it or not? If you're committed, irrespective of the alternative that you will choose, you'll become successful. So it's important to know, one, where do you want to go? Second, then deciding how do you want to go there? Third, being 100% committed to that task. And you know, lastly, there is this analysis that I again seen long back, which said, you know, there was a survey done in a Yale University and they talked to around 17, 20. They asked, there were two types of students. Type A was... They said, I will earn a lot of money in life. 
and then I enjoy my life. And there were thirteen percent of type B who said, "I will do whatever, I will enjoy whatever I do." At the end of it, there were hundred and one millennials at the end of twenty years. The reality is, out of that, only one was from category A. There were hundred from category B, which tells you it is important to enjoy your life while you are doing all this. Right with this, I can come come to end of my deck. Ah, uh, this is my email ID. This is my mobile number. If you want to reach out ever, please do. But what I'll do, I want to do more is spend time on uh, question and answering some questions for you all. Right, uh, more than happy to. You can put the question in the chat or you can unmute and ask. More than happy to answer that. For LinkedIn ID, you just need to search Jagnur Singh. You will see that. There. Any questions on the chat? More than happy to answer. Uh -huh. Ma'am, we can't hear you. Sorry. Acha. Is it me or no one can hear her? <laughs> Can others uh, hear Sonia, ma'am? Can you put it on the chat? I can't. Yes, ma'am, we can't hear you. Anyone, any question? Please feel free to put it on the chat. Uh, more than happy to answer those. Harjus, can you put it on the chat? The question that you have, please. Perfect. So if there are no question, can we sign off, Sonia, ma'am, or anything else? You, we can't hear you. There's some issue with your headset. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I guess I'm audible. Yes, you're audible now. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you, sir, for the session. It was really motivational. I I have this one question in my mind. Uh, like across the session, we were talking about how to keep ourselves motivated throughout our journey. So I I want to know that uh, what usually happens is that we have a plan, we start to work accordingly, and when we actually take the first step, some situations happen which you know make us doubtful about our decisions. So I want to know about your experience or one any incident which kept you motivated uh, throughout this kind of situation. Yeah, my point here is first of all, I didn't say that we should keep ourselves motivated. I said just enjoy the journey, right? And I'll tell you what what happens is when you have a larger goal in mind, Harjas, or a larger dream in mind, right? Even your day to day setbacks are okay, right? Setbacks could be many, right? You were trying to do something today, you didn't see success. But when you know what is towards your larger goal, you will keep going for it. The problem is when you don't have a larger goal in mind, and you have very very small milestones. You know, you said you know in the next one week I will do something or not. See, failure is a bound to come, right? Irrespective of where you are, what you are doing. If you don't have a larger goal in mind, you will always get bogged down by the smaller failures. But for example. But let's say when I was doing my engineering, right? My larger and in, along with it, I was very very clear. I want to do an MBA. I want to do an MBA from a top ten B school. So even during the four years, right? If I had some setbacks, setbacks could be not getting my desired placement in, let's say, a Intel or a Infosys. It's okay with me, right? Because my larger goal isn't that. Or I didn't win one of the debate competition. It's okay. I come back. I learn from it. I go for it. If there's a setback, I can't go with my team, my friends to Jaipur. It's okay because my larger goal, I'm still clear. But if that larger goal wasn't clear, right? Not getting that adequate marks in a subject would have bogged me down. Not being able to go to Jaipur would bog me down, right? Not getting placement clear for Sintel would bog me down. So important is, Harjas, is do you really have that dream and the larger vision in mind? And dreams don't get achieved in a day, right? Even when you're clear with the dream, you'll have setbacks on a daily basis. But it's okay, right? You're working for the larger goal. That's important. Harjas, this what did that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Let me pick up second question, which is from Harshivak, right? Sir, tell me, going abroad before or after B Tech? 
Trust me, you can equally be successful, equally failure, going today or going after five years. Well, if you look at it, right, my entire last one hour that we have been talking, I have not said there's one course which is better. I have not said that going abroad is better than MBA. Right? All that I've said is at least know what you want to do. For example, you don't even know what you need to do once you go abroad, right? And you just for the sake of it, because your friends are saying you should go to Canada, you go to Canada and not clear what do you want to do after you reach there, you'll fail. But if you're clear that you want to go to an M Canada because you want to do GRE, you want to do MTech, and you want to do an MTech in artificial intelligence, you go today or you after three years, you'll be successful. And my only problem is in our college, especially when you do our um, engineering in Punjab, you know, it's a bare, very basic mindset that the only way to succeed is going abroad. Trust me, today I'm living a far, far, yeah, far, 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 far than some of my friends who are sitting out of US or Canada, right? And I have no regret whatsoever. I was in US last year, for, last, last year for 21 days just on a vacation, right? And I've seen more US than some of the friends of mine who are staying in US for the last 10 years, right? So it's not important that the only way to be successful is go to US. Important is to know what you do and really excel in that. That's what is important. So how to start as an entrepreneur? First, you at least know what the idea is, right? And the safest time to start as an entrepreneur is when you are in engineering, right? Or you're doing into studies. For example, if you're first year today and you want to be an entrepreneur and you today in the next two months, you identify an idea for yourself that you want to be an entrepreneur, let's say in online education or digital marketing or some other point. Now you have next three years where you have a fail-proof way of experimenting yourself, right? You're not feeding a family, right? You don't have a house to run. So in the next three years, if you start working on that idea daily, right? Do research on that. Go to your professors, talk about it. Talk to your friends, right? You have 500 people in the college. Roll out a Google form to them that tomorrow if I roll out this product, would you buy this product? How much will you pay for that product? There's so much you can learn, right? So much you can experiment at zero cost in college. I mean, nobody else can. That's what you need to do. Any more questions, please? Yes, Sunny, one on to ask anything. Any student who want to ask anything? <laughs> I suppose there are no other queries. So, so uh, now I request Dr. Manpreet Kaur, Professor Mechanical Engineering Department, to present both of science. Ma'am, please. Hello. Yes, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, dear uh, Engineer Jagnur Singh, Respected Principal Sir, Head of the Departments, Deans, my faculty colleagues, staff members, and dear students, very good afternoon to all present here. On behalf of Baba Banda Singh Bahadur Engineering College, its entire fraternity, the organizing committee, I take immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks to one and all. I express my heartfelt gratitude to Indir Jagnur Singh, who spared the time from his busy schedule to grace this webinar with the extremely relevant address on an entrepreneurship post-COVID. Jagnur, you very well explained the importance of extracurricular activities, uh, participation in the competitions, and you have uh, mentioned one thing that Every student should decide one aim. He should work uh, with very uh, great determination, dedication, passion, and hard work. Uh, one must have a good aim in his life. And I hope I, 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 the students will, uh, will have inspired from your words. And if any student wants you to be as his or her mentor, I'm sure you will agree to handhold him. And uh, in future, uh, the students would like to hear from you. We will arrange an offline seminar in our college. Uh, so it is a very good informative, uh, you gave a very good informative knowledge and I hope the students uh, will uh, grasp your words and they will work following your advice. So I extend my sincere thanks to our 